Hello, welcome. Uh, this video is going to show you how to do uh, some of the AutoCAD settings in the CAD lab in order to make AutoCAD function properly for us when we want to use it. Uh, what usually happens when we make these settings is it remembers, your, it remembers these things in your Windows profile so you don't have to do it more than once, but not in this lab. And for whatever reason, they have it set up this way. And it's rather unfriendly, but it's a big waste of time for everybody, but we're still going to have to do it. So there are four things we're going to have to change, and let me show you how to do this. And we have to make these changes before we even use AutoCAD in order for it to function properly. So first thing we're going to do is change the colors. In uh, paper space, you'll notice it always starts out with the color of white in the background, which is okay if you want to live with that, that's fine. But if you want to change it, which I prefer we do just to be consistent, let's go to Options. And what you do is you go to either to the... Uh, application menu up here where you right click on your screen and scroll down to the options button. You want to go to the display tab, go to colors, 2D model space, you want to make sure that's black, I think it's set as black sheet layout or paper space, that's going to be black. And uh, the black editor, we're going to make that black too. Apply and close. And OK. That's the first setting. Second setting is our dynamic input. A dynamic input, uh, if you go down here to our polar tracking button on the bottom of our screen on the status bar, you can go to settings. You want to make sure that uh, you go to uh, the dynamic input uh, tab up here. Make sure you enable pointer input. Go to settings. And the radio buttons for polar format and relative coordinates should both be selected. Thank you. And then go to OK. And go to OK. And that's done. Third thing we need to do, the UCS icon. Just make sure you're in model space, not in paper space, but in model space. It's nice having a UCS icon in spite of what I said in previous videos. Um, it does show us where the origin is, and sometimes when you go between uh, paper space and model space, this paper space viewport window from the template file is arranged so that the UCS icon or the origin is down here in the lower left hand corner. So the idea here, if you model close to the, where the UCS origin is, where the UCS icon is, and where the origin is, then it can conceivably will be fairly close to where it needs to be when we go to paper space. So an upset here, type in UCS icon, and everything you type, when you type it into uh, AutoCAD, it usually appears on the command line down here, as it did to here. And because we have a dynamic input on it, there's going to be a um, dialog box next to our cursor. So either type in on down here in the command line, or select on up here. So now our UCS icon is on. And just to demonstrate that, we just do a rectangle here at the UCS icon. Go to our A size layout. It should be pretty close to where our viewport window is. Last thing we need to do is our properties palette. So what you find is you go to the insert tab. Oop, I'm sorry. Go to the view tab. Go to uh, properties and you'll see that on the palettes section. Go to properties and just click on that. It, if, it, if it isn't docked on the right hand side, dock it. And the way you dock it is you grab this gray area pull it over to the right hand side and it's there for your use as you're selecting things in AutoCAD like this rectangle here it's going to show you the elements that are uh, that are unique to that rectangle such as the area, the length and uh, certain other things okay that's what we need to do here if there's any additional changes to these uh, four items we'll go ahead and add those in subsequent videos bye bye now